Hello and welcome to our Kitbash 3D Secrets of the Luminara Challenge submission behind the scenes video. Uh, so this entire project was made with Imperius Creator Tools and the Kitbash 3D cargo assets for this challenge. So our main inspiration for our environment was actually the Uncharted gaming series. So we really wanted to play around with temples and foliage and things like that. And for a unique twist to kind of keep it in the Luminara vibe, we decided to create portal space with a little secret at the end of our video. So I'll just let that play now and thanks for watching. Awesome, so now the cinematic's over, we'll kind of go over the bulk of the scene creation for the Aztec space. So I'm not going to go too in depth into the systems we're using, but this is the biome generator, which is included in the PTG tools for free. So this was a big chunk of our background in the scene. So we essentially got a forest pack and we added this to our generator and we wanted to create a quite a dense forest for our surrounding area as not only were we creating a cinematic for this space but we wanted to create a virtual experience so yeah feel free to check out our other videos on our youtube channel that goes over the biome generator um but the the main system actually used is scatter on mesh in the scene so using all the same assets and a few mega scans assets as well we used scatter and mesh to really like add quite um, hero assets to the scene i guess um, and we once we created a few of these we could scatter them around and you know have these really um unique systems which kind of gave a bit of story to the scene so i think um on average i'd probably say like 80 percent of the scene is using scatter on mesh and that's how we were able to achieve these really high density details in a short amount of time so as you can see on the screen now, we're doing the same for the stairs to our Aztec temple. We're just going to be placing these assets on. And obviously it's quite uniform at the moment. It's scattering all over the mesh. So to counter this, we actually added a Boolean kind of uh, cube to our scene with a bit of noise on. And this essentially subtracted from the PCG systems. So we don't want this uniform uh, path going up. We want it to be a bit more varied. So that's exactly what we did. But yeah, this is really, really handy for us as you know, we could create a quite detailed scene in a really short space of time using these systems. So after finalizing the placement of the stairs, we just wanted to essentially show a bit of the space off here, so a bit of behind the scenes. Unfortunately, we did lose quite a lot of the footage from creating the space, but like I said previously, it's essentially getting nice assets, 
putting them into our scatter and mesh system and adding more scatterable meshes on top of it. Um, what you're seeing now was very, very dense using small scaled assets. So behind the scenes, we actually reduced the number of assets and just scaled them as for this kind of scene, no one's really um, going to go too close to these assets. Um, so it worked for us. And yeah, like I was saying, we lost quite a lot of the footage from the space. So here's a few images after a lighting refinement and essentially scattering more assets around using the exact same techniques we just went over. So using the Kitbash 3D cargo assets, we put them into our systems and we did have some manual, uh, manually placed foliage as well. And you know, things like the fires and totem you can see in these images. So the space after was actually the portal space and this had a few Sketchfab models, some from uh, Kitbash 3D Cargo and Megascans as well. So it allowed us to block out the space really fast and we essentially applied some, you know, ancient looking materials and it was kind of an afterthought for us to, you know, create this cool neon kind of effect and that's where the, the final space actually originated from. Um, behind the scenes so we really wanted to add like a bit of story to the space not just like a neon cool portal so we wanted to uh, animate the the runes and the floor as well I guess um, but yeah this is just a, a little sneak peek of what we were doing and essentially this space was m mainly all uh, manually placed using the assets provided so after that we needed to create our Aztec city so once again, we headed to Cargo, got some of their assets, and we essentially just started building out a variety of structures, which we could then later build our city with. Um, so obviously the Kibash Cargo assets weren't a neon uh, futuristic Aztec vibe. So luckily we managed to just, you know, place some cool neons and things on them, and they kind of just worked. Uh, so not much uh, refinement needed to be done on these. Um, and as you can see, we're just placing these over the block outs we have earlier. And these were based off a bit of concept art we had. So for our artists, it was fairly easy to just scatter these around and adjust as needed. No one's really going to be getting close to them, so they don't need to be perfect. Um, as it's just for a few seconds in our final clip. And now after we've made a few variations of these buildings, we're just going to be placing them around in kind of a grid kind of view. And we'll be adding some streets and, you know, population to this Aztec city a bit later on. And working to scale is something really important for the scene, as if something's too big or too small, it's going to look really out of proportion. So that's why we're always checking scale when we're working, um, especially even if it's something just rough like this, where we're blocking out uh, cities with, you know, really uh, rough assets. And obviously the scene's looking um, pretty cool, but there's, we're missing a lot of detail now. So let's start adding that into our scene. So what we can do now is once again, we'll just move our buildings around. Let's add a bit more depth to this area. And now let's really bring it to life by adding a road in. So we're just using uh, fab for this and we're going to be getting some mega scans and we're literally just using a simple plane here, but we're going to be adding decals and materials to make it a bit more interesting. So we had a, a few references of streets and we found like a metallic uh, dark material was pretty uh, cyberpunk vibe. So we're going to stick this on and we're going to make it nice and shiny momentarily. And the handy thing we're using a plane, um, even though it's 
super simple. We can just scatter this around and it's it's fairly modular. Um, so once we've created one, we've, we've kind of created many and then with it being quite reflective um, momentarily, that will kind of add in the, the variation needed based on, you know, the neons and the, the other assets we're adding. So we're not spending too much time on this. It really is rough and dirty, but it's it's getting the job done for what we need. And then yeah, we've just got this car model as well, and we have, we'll place a few of those around with some variations. And now this is more of the interior kind of environments at the end. So we just have a bunch of uh, kitbashed assets placed together, and we're going to be placing some nice uh, aztec -y, cyberpunk kind of materials all over this. And yeah, we, we won't really cover how we created the, uh, the market too much, as it's pretty straightforward, just, you know, moving assets placing them but that's that's really what we did here so we wanted to kind of keep it cyberpunky but also throw in a few of the aztec elements as well so that's what our artist is doing now and as you can see we've also uh, edited that floor material and added a bunch of props and assets around And it's starting to get there now. So we've got the atmospherics, we've got a little market, and we've also added some uh, people from Mixamo as well, just to get a bit of life to the scene. Originally, we wanted to do like a first person kind of uh, gaming cinematic, I guess, but we ran out of time on that. So we wanted to keep it quite simple and just put in more focus on the environment rather than the, the animations. But yeah, all of the techniques in this video, um, they're fairly straightforward. We have a bunch of videos which go over you know all of our systems and manually placing assets you know that's fairly straightforward as it is and um, a lot most of the materials they came from the kitbash 3d cargo and they also came from quixel as well and you know once we had a few of these materials we could kind of just uh, create instances place them around and that's about it so thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one